The idea is that if you're, if you fall into a chaotic state and everything falls apart, there's the possibility that things can come back together, including what you've just learned, in a new state. And so you can conceptualize that symbolically as the existence of the dead father at the bottom of the of, of the chaotic landscape. That's, that's the proper way, as far as I can tell, to think about it. It's like there's something down there that's capable of reforming and re-emerging that incorporates the previous state, but that takes it farther. And you're not going to find that unless you descend into this chaotic place where it feels like all order is gone. While you generate order, it's going to be akin to the order that you had before, but there's going to be something new about it as well. So it's down to the bottom of the chaotic state to bring up what you're missing. And that's one level of analysis. Another level of analysis, you think, is, well, that's also what you're doing. That's what you should be doing in principle when you're going to university. You know, you're, you come to university in roughly the same state as Pinocchio. You know, you're a bit of a puppet and you're kind of a jackass and what the hell do you know? And it's chaotic because you haven't found your place in the world properly. And I don't mean merely for career, not that that's not relevant because it is, but it's more important than that. It's because you're a historical creature, because you are a product of history, unless you are enculturated properly, which means you understand your past, in, in, in the sense that the humanities can allow for that, then you haven't been able to incorporate the wisdom of your ancestors into your day-to-day -day pursuits, and that's going to make you weak. That's the idea anyways. And so when you come to university, this is what university is for. It's so that you can go into the chaos, and you can pull something out of it that's truly of value. And you can incorporate that in your own personality, and that makes you much, much stronger, like literally stronger, not more educated. But not, it's not like you know more facts. It's that you literally are a better person, and better means you can do far more things. You can articulate your, that's, that's something that's of crucial importance, is that you can articulate yourself properly, which is more useful than anything else you could possibly manage. Like if you guys come out of university, capable of making coherent arguments and using language properly, you're so powerful that it's ridiculous. You, you always, you can lay out a strategy and pursue it successfully. And maybe the strategy is actually oriented towards something good, something that will actually work, work for you and work for other people as well. And I, I don't really understand why people aren't to told this when they come to university, is that your goal is to Make yourself as articulate in writing and thinking and speaking as you possibly can, because that opens the door to everything that you'll want to do in the future, no matter what it is. The more articulate person always rises, always, because they lay out strategies more effectively. They, they lay out the reasons for doing something or for not doing something more particularly. They convince people and properly so, that they can grapple with potential that lies ahead effectively. And they can defend themselves when they're challenged. And so all of that is going into the past, into the chaos of the past, you could even say, and pulling up the spirit that inhabits that from the bottom and uniting with it. And if you don't do that, well, you're defenseless in the case of, in the face of the tragedy of life. And, and then, then that's not so good because if you're defenseless in the face of the tragedy of life, then you get way more hurt than you would otherwise get, and so do the people around you. And then the probability that you're going to be resentful and bitter about that is really high because no one likes to fail continually. And then you get bitter and, and resentful, and then once you're bitter and resentful, well, being, being vengeful and mean is the next step. It doesn't take much of a transformation to move you from that place to the next.